Ladies and gentlemen, as we move towards 2025, there's a sense of anticipation in the air. The year 2024 has been marked by pivotal elections in some of the world's most populous nations. Now we look ahead to a year where political decisions are set to play an even bigger role in shaping financial markets. On the bright side, we hope that peace agreements can be reached in Ukraine and the Middle East. This would see lower oil prices and reduce risk premiums. Big wins for global markets. The new US administration is likely to push for lower taxes and deregulation, which would boost corporate earnings and encourage similar policies elsewhere. This is especially vital for Europe, which has lagged behind the US and China for years. With a new German government, we might see key reforms that help invigorate both Germany and the European Union. Meanwhile, China faces its own moment of decision, needing to stimulate its economy to boost consumer confidence and growth as it continues to deal with the property sector decline. But it's not all smooth sailing. Risks remain, especially with President-elect Trump's more inward-looking policies. These could increase the geopolitical fragmentation and foster China's influence in the so-called Global South, hence create power shifts on the global stage. Such changes are rarely frictionless and often put smaller countries at a disadvantage. They are typically more reliant on international trade and have less leverage in conflicts, making them vulnerable in the event of a trade war. We are likely to see higher US tariffs on imports from China and other trading partners. It is often underestimated that they would push up consumer prices in the US as well and increase domestic production costs due to pricier imported intermediate input components. Higher inflation would also make it tougher for central banks to cut interest rates during the next economic slowdown, potentially adding volatility and recession risks to the global economic landscape. Still, we remain optimistic in our baseline scenario. So far, the US economy appears headed for a soft landing where a further easing in labor market pressure could help moderate wage growth and inflation. The decisive US election results and the anticipation of tax cuts could stimulate both business investments and household spending. In this case, fewer rate cuts by the Federal Reserve would be needed than markets currently expect. High interest rates, in turn, could take a toll on the housing sector, slowing growth throughout the second half of 2025. So what does this mean for financial markets? Let's break it down. First, equities are expected to benefit from stronger earnings growth. Yet, given that current valuations, particularly in the US, are already high after this year's rally, we anticipate only single-digit returns for 2025. Second, bonds remain attractive. Relatively high coupons help compensate for potential risks, such as the deteriorating fiscal position in the US. And third, the US dollar should stay strong, in particular in the first half of the year, supported by high interest rate differentials as other countries are expected to reduce their policy rates faster than the US. In a landscape where political choices heavily influence financial markets, staying alert and ready to adjust the asset allocation swiftly is key. We remain highly committed to providing the support that serves our clients' best interests. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for your interest throughout this year and wish you a healthy, peaceful and prosperous New Year.